first time I met Jeremiah Justice, I didn't think much of it. I never could have really guessed um, how much we would come to see each other over the years and become friends. I, I've tattooed Jeremiah so much and just seen him come so far in his personal life and um, even down to the tattoos he gets and just who he is as a person that when I had this idea to sort of spotlight the clients instead of the artists on occasion, um, he was the natural first choice. My name is Jeremiah Justice. I've been here in Killeen, Texas for um, many years. Um, I grew up here, my dad was in the military, so uh, I've been here for probably the longest. Uh, my dad's from California, so that's where I claim. Uh, I visit there every year, but Killeen, Texas is where I'm from. I was born in Booty in Germany. I have no memories in Germany besides family from there. I was working at Zoomies back in the day and my boss Greg knew Josh. There is a back room that goes straight into the store, but <laughs> yeah. you have to have a key. the back room man it's pretty much just a bunch of back stock of shoes and uh yeah that's it that's all it's ever been really oh what i'm laying on dude <laughs> nobody knows it's a mystery couch <laughs> oh man this is like reminiscing dude hiding all the good posters back here to take for myself Oh, no, it's I 125. Oh, yes, you want this one. How much is it? I didn't even notice How that. How much is it? I didn't even notice that. Which one? The spitfire? Oh. It's 125. You know what else? Nice. We don't have any money. So, uh, it was finally time for me to get my first tattoo. My first tattoo was. Was a skateboard. Uh, that's what I've been doing all my life. It's a huge passion of mine. So um, that was my first idea. I went to Josh with. Um, never got a tattoo before, so I didn't know what I was getting into. I had a very specific idea that I wanted, and uh, from then Josh threw his ideas at me and drew something, and I went with it. I've been getting tattooed by Josh for about six and a half years now, I believe. We've covered quite a bit of room on my body in that time frame. Uh, we started with uh, my left leg. We worked on that for probably the longest time frame, probably about three years, just on one leg. I wasn't super into it. I always wanted more tattoos, but I never uh, was like very consistent with it. And now we've done both legs, my chest, and uh, working on my arm now. My 
My favorite tattoo is um, my whole right leg. My whole right leg is one big piece. Um, all my other tattoos are kind of patchwork. Um, and my, my, right, my right leg is like a forest, nature. That's kind of where I spend most of my free time. So I brought Josh this idea um, of just like a giant nature, forest, rainforest type idea. I originally wanted a frog. That's what I, that's what I came to him with. And uh, we ended up, you know, coming up with a cool like rainforest, a bunch of different animals and trees. And uh, it's just where I spent a lot of my free time at. So it became one of my favorite pieces. We blasted over my nipples, so uh, that was probably the most gnarly experience. Um, and uh, yeah, they're uh, they're not really there anymore. Yeah. Come on, dude. Go up. No, go up. Oh. So I spend most of my free time in nature because I, uh, I do photography and uh, I always have a camera in my hand and I'm always outdoors. So I shoot a lot of insects and bugs and creatures and um, uh, I travel a lot around the country and visit different national forests and national parks um, and I'm always outdoors. On top of the world, dude. Uh, photography has afforded me um, quite, a, quite a bit of opportunities, um, especially within this last year. I've, uh, I've grown my photography business. Um, I actually work for a company that flies me out and travels me around Texas um, to do gigs for them. A lot of the cool gigs uh, are obviously the traveling ones because I get to leave Texas. Been here the, you know, a long time, so being able to travel with a camera in my hand is definitely pretty rad. Um, my favorite place that I've went uh, with my camera is probably the Bozeman Mountains in Montana. I got flown up there last year for a marathon race, uh, which they pretty much run to the peak of the mountain and back down. So, and I got to be up there when they got to the top and kind of shooting them coming up the mountain. So that's probably my favorite. So recently I did a gig for Red Bull. Uh, my boss is in connection with them and they actually hired him to host uh, Wings for Life, which is a charity event uh, where runners come out and they run um, for spinal cord research. And it's a thing across the whole world. There's thousands and thousands of people who uh, run for it. And I was able to drive out to Houston and shoot that event for Red Bull. This park, so when this park got built, it uh, kind of tore the skate scene, like the, the local skate scene in half, because like, you know, half the kids lived on this side of town, half the kids lived on the other side of town. So there was no park on this side, so everyone would travel down and meet at one park. Uh, and then once they built this one, you know, it kind of separated the, the skate community, so. Thanks, Mickey's. Appreciate you. Shout out to our local gas stations.
Although I haven't, I haven't been around a camera my entire life, but with skateboarding comes filming your homies, going to the skate park, making little videos. Um, I had actually started a clothing company back when I worked at Zoomies, and uh, you know I had people wearing them in videos, and I would film them and make little montages and stuff. And from then on, photography just pursued and pursued. Um, it started kind of with film, you know, just a little GoPro, um, and then I started filming more taking more stills, and then it just developed more into the actual still photography aspect. Photography right now at this point in my life is the biggest passion of mine. Um, alongside skateboarding, um, as long as I have one of those in my hand or both, I'm a pretty, I'm pretty stoked about it. This is the stuff I need to be filming. Why? Steering with his left leg. No hands on the wheel, texting, eyes not even on the road. My eyes are on the road, man. Your eyes are on your phone. <laughs> They're on the road. Look at this boy. They're on the road. Look at this. And the phone. Just for small intervals. <laughs>